Junk View. Among Zelda games, Link's Awakening his voice. is one of the true Everything. bizarro Such a troll voice. There is no Hyrule, no Triforce, no Master Sword. In fact, there are no puzzles or dungeons either. At least that's how the game was for me when I was 10. I don't think I even made it past the raccoon part. So for me, the gameplay was mowing grass and hitting groblins in the forest. Revisiting this game 20 years later, I understood why I never beat this game. Because some of this shit does not make sense. There is an owl that tells you what to do. There are owl statues that tell you what to do. There are hint houses spread all over the map. And even with all this stuff telling you how to beat the game, you're probably going to get stuck somewhere. And that is the downfall of the old school Zelda formula. You have this vast, expansive map to explore, but often only one very specific way to progress the game. Just like Metroid, it is easy to miss one subtle cue and spend 30 minutes wandering in circles accomplishing yep. nothing. I People usually do that. People who games have played them so many times they can no longer see the unintuitive faults, which is probably why I enjoyed this game the most on the third playthrough. Above all else, the it's the weirdness thing. of this Zelda that makes it so special, and one of the weirdest things about it is how smooth the game plays. You compare Super Mario World to Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy. In terms of gameplay, they aren't even close, baby. I like that Super logo. Mario World is way, way more precise and smoother to control with so many more power-ups and mechanical flourishes. Typically, Super Nintendo games yes, have better buddy. graphics and smoother controls than their Game Boy counterparts. However, Link's Awakening plays more like a sequel to A Link to the Past, and that's because it was developed by the same team two years later. In Link to the Past, Link is like a fucking pinball. If you get hit, you get bounced. If you hit an enemy, you get bounced. Look at this thing in the middle. Guess what that does? It bounces. bounces. <laughs> now, that with dungeons littered with holes in the ground, spike traps, conveyor belts, and ice-covered floors, Link's Awakening incorporates all of the fun power-ups and twists from the Super Nintendo game into a more polished package using smart design choices to make Link stronger, more stable, and more agile, all while operating under much heavier hardware constraints. On the Game Boy, this was a technical marvel, but for me, it's the Switch version where it really sings. The hell? 2D Zeldas have always been more focused in oh, titles man, I than the the game. 3D titles, but the remaster takes the most compact Zelda and squeezes it into a tiny, glossy gem. So it makes cute. for a game so where every step you take feels like 10, and soaring across the map with your hookshot is pure magic. Once you've been indoctrinated by the goofy-ass video game logic of Zelda, this is maybe the most replayable game in the series. Oh, but man. it's not the gameplay that made me fall in love with this game. It's the story. Zelda Link's Awakening. It's a funny title, because first off, Zelda isn't even in this game. Secondly, you don't even play as Link. You play as a guy called Blanca. And there's what? Mario characters everywhere and evil That's Kirby. Not... And get Link? this, the entire game takes place inside of a fish's dream. I'm always telling you guys about how there needs to be more video games where the entire thing takes place inside of a fish's dream. This game not only delivers <laughs> on their fish's very dream. specific request, this game invented fish the dream. fishing mini game. The remastered visuals have this plastic sheen uh, suggestive hell? of a child playing with toys. The houses are full of little details that color in the person That's living so there, and cute. even though this game has a great soundtrack, it is almost never referenced in subsequent games, further reinforcing its uniqueness. Okay. Legendary game Hello? director Takashi Tezuka cited Twin Peaks as one of his major inspirations here. The world of Koholint is dreamlike and Did I just see a horse in a living room? By quaint villages full or am of I just too hungry? Characters. And there's an owl. Even stranger, the plot of this game is very similar to David Lynch's later film, Mulholland Drive. Most Zelda games hinge on a battle between good and evil where your goal is to save the world. But in Link's Awakening, you gradually discover that your goal this time is to destroy the world. If Link doesn't wake up from the dream, he'll drown in the ocean. But if he does, this entire world that you've come to know will cease to exist. 
What's tragic is how the world makes such a big impact on the player without slamming it with so reams cute. of dialogue. Link has a little girlfriend that wants to be a seagull. Marie. He wins a Yoshi doll for a baby. He trades an alligator a can of dog food for a banana. The mayor of Sim City gets catfished by a goat. Wart from Super Mario Brothers 2 is holding an underground concert. What the? And crawl it's into like a somebody drunk or a legendary high chicken, or an where Twin Peaks like was made often this... dark and ominous. That's Mario. Zelda doubles down on jokes and humor, burying its darker elements That's much Mario. deeper beneath the surface. <laughs> Just like a dream, Link's awakening can be bizarre and illogical. Koholint Island may be the most idyllic place Link has ever been, but sometimes in life, the idyllic. thing you have to do is the last thing you want to do, like Aww. waking up and getting out of bed. And yeah, that's I don't want to do that. This is my Especially not with Zelda Mario story. in my room. <laughs> Even come out. More donkey. That was amazing. So this is the old one, right? The Ze Legends of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Is there a new one? Two years ago. Playing the Legend That's the one from two years ago. I'm happy to ago. say that yeah. having finished this latest version of the story, all my praise for Link's Awakening remains intact, and my There's reservations no way it's made in 1993. Maybe the old one. Yeah, see, like, this is two years ago, and I didn't even know who it's out. We're back with another years. episode of Before You Buy. I should play this game. You are.